We can now discuss this further with our guest, Dr. Um, Dr. Hay Cohen Yanarajak from Tel Aviv University. Uh, welcome to the program, sir. It's good to have you with us. So, do you think the Pentagon actually misspoke here, as Tillerson said, or Thank do you think you. there may be other reasons for this backtracking? Well, uh, what I see right now, the Turkish administration is not very much satisfied with what is going on. Today, the Turkish uh, Prime Minister, Bin Ali Yildirim, made it very clear that the United States have to put an end to this confusion. And they need to uh, choose their sides very, uh, very clearly. Uh, from Turkish point of view, uh, the PYD-YPG is, uh, is the continuation of the PKK at the other side of the border. And in this regard, they see this entity, this entity as a terrorist organization. And they are very much disappointed with uh, U.S. current policy. And uh, besides that, I would also like to emphasize that uh, due to the... Uh, uh, failed coup attempt of the last year and since the, according to the Turkish uh, government, uh, the mastermind of that failed coup attempt, uh, Fethullah Gülen, is residing right now in Pennsylvania. Uh, the relations between the two countries uh, was, you know, as, um, as you know, deteriorated unprecedentedly. And in this regard, I can tell you that uh, this friction between the United States uh, and Turkey is basically pushing Turkey towards more to Russian arms. Now, Turkey doesn't seem to be convinced by this U.S. retraction, does it? Why do you think that is? I can't hear. I can't hear anything. Dr. Yarod Yanarajak, can you hear me? It's Nikki in the studio in Moscow. Okay, okay. Can you hear now, us? Now I, can, now I can hear you. Please repeat your question if you ever ask. I yeah, will yeah, do, yeah. I please, will do. Please re -ask I, was, your I was asking you, why do you think Turkey doesn't seem convinced by this retraction on the U.S. part? Um, I, I cannot blame the Turkish decision makers since uh, the American administration is providing arms uh, to the Kurds. And when we are looking at the map, uh, if the American decision makers would, would love to go back to Syria and have a bridgehead uh, in that particular region, of course, they are going to choose the Kurds and not any other actors. And in this regard, we all know that maybe uh, the U.S. administration right now is trying to lower the tensions. but. Uh, uh, you know, in the field, what we're going to see is the continuation of the U.S. support uh, for these entities. And the Turkish administration would like to see the end, the end, the clear end of the American support to the Kurdish PYD and YPG. And uh, to basically to redesign, uh, to, re to redesign the Turkish foreign, uh, the American foreign policy uh, in Syria. And in this regard, I can tell you that there is a very uh, increasing anti-Americanism right now in Turkey uh, because of the uh, American policies. And uh, I guess the American administration is also taking this into account. How far do you think the U.S. would actually go? What kind of risks do you think Washington is willing to take in order to stay in Syria? Can you please repeat your question? I want to ask you, what kind of risks do you think Washington is willing to take in order to stay in Syria? Well, uh, you know, uh, U.S. administration took a very important decision under President Obama and they left Syria. Now, uh, under Trump, they are trying to get back to Syria thanks to the Kurds. And uh, as, uh, as far as I can tell you, now uh, the American administration is uh, like dancing on a very tight rope between the Kurds uh, and Turkey. And when they are putting uh, both of the relations to a scale, they, they are coming to the conclusion that uh, the, uh, the Turkish side is, you know, is, can offer a lot more. For instance, in southeast Turkey, we have the Injirlik Air Base uh, where the American uh, Air Forces is uh, residing. And uh, in this regard, uh, when we are looking at the Kurds uh, of Syria, this is a landlocked entity and it's a minor actor. Uh, on the other hand, Turkey is a NATO ally, uh, even if there are some disagreements between the two sides. And uh, so when we are looking at the whole picture uh, for United States, it's not an easy decision because uh, United States doesn't want to sacrifice its relations with Turkey and also uh, doesn't want to desert uh, uh, leave the, the Kurdish uh, the Kurdish fighters there alone. So uh, it's it will be a like ambivalent policy. Dr. Hai Cohen Yanarajak, Turkey expert from Tel Aviv University. Thank you for your time.